Uh, today I want to uh, talk about possibly one of the most difficult uh, sounds, uh, well, the mo most difficult two sounds in English for learners. It's a particularly difficult sound to grasp for Asians where I am. And uh, it also presents problems, uh, I think, for many different nationalities. We're talking about the TH uh, sounds. Now, the spelling of TH commonly has two different sounds. And I'm going to describe them first and then we'll listen to some examples. Okay, let's listen to the first sound. Uh, I'll describe the first sound we're using TH. Now, the first thing is the position of your tongue is very important to get the uh, sound uh, made successfully. In the first one, the tip of the tongue must touch the top of your teeth. Okay, not the bottom layer, the top layer. Okay, you touch the top of your teeth at the time that you make the sound. So I'm going to read some examples now, uh, you uh, describing that uh, first uh, sound for the TH. These are called voiced th sounds okay one they two than three those four these okay now the position of the sound there was at the front i'm now going to give you three examples where the th sound is in the middle Number one, mother. Number two, brother. Number three, father. Okay, now, I will now want to give you some examples of the second sound for the TH, but first, describe how you make it. Again, we must get the position of your tongue the tip of your tongue in the correct position now to make this sound the tip of your tongue must be outside of your mouth very near your lips but outside and what happens is that when you make the sound air is blown out of the mouth with the tongue between the top and bottom lips. Let's listen to uh, four examples at the start of a word. One, thought. Two, thank. Three, thin. Four, theme. Now let's have two at the end of the word bath both okay so now i'm going to use the two styles of th sounds in uh, sentences number one this is the first example have you met my mother? Number two. Those children are making too much noise. And number three. Bangkok is bigger than Rayong. Okay, now I'm going to use the second sound for the TH in sentences as well. Number one, you have been very helpful. 
thank you. Number two. That man over there, he is very thin. And number three. Mum, I'm just going to have a bath. Okay, so in conclusion, in this video we've looked at the very difficult sound which is written with a T and an H and I've said that there are two different sounds. The voice where the, the, the tongue is touching the tip of the upper teeth and two the unvoiced where the tip of the tongue is extended just outside the mouth. I do hope this has helped you and uh, I will continue with more difficult sound in the next video.